So there's just a complete disconnect in terms of it seems like the basic psychology of the Middle East is so misunderstood in the US and this is because most of the coverage is from the US that they are incapable of analyzing it rationally at all and you end up in a world where when the US is pretty much universally hated over there a US president not supporting a leader is actually harming the leader with his people when on the other actually it's probably helping him with his people but the inability of the US networks to even comprehend that simple thing mm. I think shows the extent to which this whole war on terror and they hate us because of our freedoms um, thinks has permeated the intellectual class and they're no longer able to think rationally about these things. Mm. So let's say, let's say oh, can I ask a question? Yes, please. Um, if, if Obama backed Mubarak, what do you think would be the result of that? I don't actually think it matters at this point. Mm -hmm. um, it's just the, 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 yeah. I don't know who was saying it, but it's gonna it's gonna be decided over there. I don't think it. Uh, it's, a, it's an internal. Problem. It's an internal problem at this point. I don't think it matters anymore. Um, it's just the part that was shocking to me was this just failure of analysis. Mm -hmm. um, one interesting thing that I've been reading, which was actually interesting analysis, was the fact that WikiLeaks probably played a role in starting this whole thing in Tunisia and then in Egypt, because it finally showed um, the people in those countries that Western leaders saw their leaders exactly the same way that they saw them. As corrupt, incompetent mm -hmm. um, dictators, um, as opposed to what they were saying in public. And to have this confirmation could have been sort of a tipping point in terms of, um, mm -hmm. of public opinion. So mm -hmm. that was the one interesting thing, but yeah. Mm -hmm.